everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness Lit Phones Campaign. And we're here back with another episode after we had um, proven our dominance over Europe by uh, just destroying Germany and breaking Poland out of some of its fears. So, I don't know. What, what am I going to do next, everyone? You may ask. Now that I'm kind of like cooling down, and you know the wow, that's a lot of labors in just one place. Wait a minute. Okay, so wow, that is a lot. 80% of the people. How many people are here? Oh, there isn't really that many people. That's why they can get away with it. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah. Wait, is these guys civilized? No, they're still really. Wow. I really gotta figure that one out. Anyways. Uh, we got distracted, the game distracted here, but we're back here in our game with a lot of things going on. One thing that's going on right now is a lot of nations are now starting to want to get free from, like, their oppressors. Like, the Austrians are having a nation getting free. The Ottomans are just, like, almost every minute they're having someone that wants to be freed from the nation. And um, I've basically thought of that I'm going to try to free every single one. Um, yeah. That's basically it. I don't really have, like, you know, some mass speech that will be, like, all revolutionary to the cause or anything. And something else I've noticed is that over here in Panama, most of the people here are actually French. Like, the big majority of people over here are French. So, I'm thinking I could actually convert this into a colony. And right here. Yeah, because, I mean, look at that. That's, like, almost 20% French. You could probably get these guys. Okay, so that was that's actually just a side thing because um, what else I do? I opened up all the dead factories. I did all this kind of army stuff, which I have to actually do a little bit more army stuff because I forgot to put this all the way down. Supplies, fifty percent, and an army, fifty percent. Um, I've already started moving my army, or and already sent my army to go be moved. Man, I really do love water. Um, I've always sent all my army to be moved and to get out of uh, Poland and Russian territory. And what else? Um, hmm. Uh, there's not really much else. Uh, oh, oh, there is something I do want to mention is I am going to start rebalancing my army. Because I realize we are making way too much, way too many uh, troops without enough, like, you know, subsidence. Because in this game, it's not about how many troops you have in an army, it's about how balanced it is. Like, you should have a pretty well-balanced army. So, um, right now we have a troop that has, like, 30, I counted, 30, uh, 30 men, but no arm infantry. So the balance that we're going to need about... I think about, I'm trying to think, uh, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven should be enough, and about four cannons, one, two, three, four, five, six, just for good measure, okay, there we go, now, now, oh, there's one more, there's, I'm trying to remember everything because it's been a little bit since I've recorded and I'm trying to make sure I get everywhere my base is. Um, we are sphering Italy right now and some of you might say, oh, but they might move up to a first class power. No, they won't. They're at 318 right now and Germany, who's the weakest of all the great powers, is about 563. So, um, yeah, Italy and basically every other second day power in the world will never move up. So it's just a great idea to just sphere them right now. Right now. I mean, right now. You better go in and go sphere them right now. Um, yeah. And last thing to do is just the Hansburg re renovations. This basically means that I get a lot of cool stuff. And this means there's some rebels gaining up on my territory. So I'm planning on giving them good... Well, I was planning on giving them good pensions, but I'm really going to give them, um, triplet health care. And with that... We can finally begin this game again. And, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also decided that I needed a little bit more beef to my alliance list, because I realized how badly we would fight against another world power if I fought against, like, 
you know, maybe Austria. Yeah, because I'm planning, if I'm planning on fleeing myself from Austria, or planning on fleeing nations from Austria or Russia, I would need a much bigger, beefier army. And it seems like there's an eternal crisis going on. And this eternal crisis is for... Ah! Seems like Bulgaria finally decided to free itself. I'm going to act as a spectator because, as I've said before, I don't want to be actually a part of this alliance. A part of this. Oh my goodness, this might be a really... You know what? Uh, she's... I don't know. The Ottomans... Uh, ooh. See, I don't know if I should be a part of this. Or if I should join this. Um, well, let me see. Um, who could join this war? Okay. Um, UK could definitely join this war. Um, Germany could definitely join this war. If I did not join the other side, that is. Actually, wait, they could not join this war if I joined the war. Um, the Russians couldn't join this war. That's kind of good. She was last until... Yeah, they could not join this war. Austria, could you guys join this war? Uh, they could if they just, just destroyed a treaty. I don't know. I dang, I should have waited for this crisis to die down. I don't really want to fight this now. Um, because either way I do this, I'm just going to be like, I don't really care either way. Oh, my goodness. Um, ah, dang it. Okay, uh, Austria has ended. Okay, so Austria has officially decided they want to go against me. I'm going to quickly back my, uh, Bulgarian friends. And see, because since the only other nation that I think will join in at this time, well, we'll just have to see. I'm going to keep my thoughts to myself, and we're going to have to see. Oh, shoot. Okay, Russia, no. No, 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 no. Shoot. <sighs> okay, you know what? Let's just, I'm going to get back out of this. They would not accept this offer. Of course, I'm going to back out of it. Because you know what? I... Honestly, I just don't feel like we will lose. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to fight this one. I'm sorry. Sorry, but I have had like three different wars in a row. I was hoping... Personally, you know what I was hoping for? I was hoping for Austria and Russia just to back down, but... Or Austria to back down by itself. And since they're not going to, I'm not even going to deal with it. Because it's not worth it. It's seriously not worth it fighting both nations at the same time right now. I mean, it's not that I couldn't do it, it's just going to be a pain. And I just went through smoking the butt out of the Germans, so, yeah. And right over here, I'm increasing my line, because I just realized that we only have, like, maybe a couple level 2 forts and a couple level 3 forts. We would be quite defenseless if we actually went to war against any nation. So let's just start, like, beefing that up a little bit. You know, just start beefing up our borders, so that we have a better chance of survival. Okay. There we go. And now let's just relax. After that crisis has apparently passed over our heads. I'm, I'm very sorry, Bulgaria. I'm very sorry. And by the way, do these guys hate me now? No, they still love me. <laughs> Even though I voted against them in a crisis, they still love me. That, that's true loyalty, everyone. That's true loyalty. Um, but no. I'm, I'm very sorry, Bulgaria. Um, maybe next time I'll support you. But for this time, I just could not do anything. Um, let us sleep. Or get more prestige, but hmm. militancy don't really need militancy right now. I mean, look at our militancy; it's pretty dang high, and it's even increasing. So that's not good, and it's probably mostly due to the fact that I refuse to like go and fight Egypt. You know what? This would be a good time right now. The police will be respected. This would be a good time right now just to go into Egypt. Um, is anyone like? I don't think anyone was, like, defending them. Justify a war? Yeah, no one wants to defend Egypt. Except for the UK. And just to, like, do a colonial command concession. Of, um, right over here. That way we can actually get to our little province of Ethiopia. And that way we can finally free it from all those rebels that keep popping up over there. Seriously, I feel like I should just free that country now because it's not really helping me at all. And we got some more reinforcements. Whew! And you know what? I'm gonna get revolutions. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. No, we should get cheap still. What am I doing? 
Doi. We see a cheap steal. Okay. And we can now sphere Italy. Italy, the Italians. The Italians. Yay. There we go, Italy. We're going to be friends again. Don't worry. Don't worry. And how are we doing in both these countries? Romania, we seem to never... We're not going to win this for a very long time. Unless... Hmm. Let's see. Can I just start whipping out other things from this sphere? Let's try to start... I'm going to try. I know I'm going to fail, but I'm going to try fighting them in... Persia. And apparently a comet sighted. A comet was sighted in the sky. Some believe that this pertains fell times ahead. Others believe that they are in fact pixie fairies floating in the sky. There are also those who believe that this comet is most probably a giant ball of ice floating through the sky and that the long tail is created due to the energy of the sun. The arguments amongst the three equally viable theories is stimulating to the pursued knowledge in our country. Well, you know what? I think I, we as fans, personally believe that um, some believe that it pertains to fell times ahead. But, you know, I don't want to bring that up to anyone. So, I'm going to say thank, thank God we live in such enlightened times. Just like that. Any Egyptian menace? Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel kind of bad because I already know I could probably get this in about a couple turns. Well, I'm trying to, I'm trying to hoping that I could probably get this all without getting any infamy. Which, I'm so far managing. Um, and if I do get any infamy, I hope I'm getting, like, very little. And we can do pass some more bills. Which, again, I normally would not want to do. But, I'm kind of, <laughs> I must be honest with you, I'm kind of, our policy towards everything has kind of been more relaxed now. Now that the, uh, now that I have officially decided, you know what? I have done too much change now to unchange myself, so I might as well just keep going on with the change. So I guess we're going to do Tricklet Subsidize. And that just won us a lot of um, conservatives in power, which, wow, that actually is pretty good. And I think it means that I just support a lot of countries. Just to be sure, I'm not going to support any of you guys. Because um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I will. I'm sorry. It's just, I'm just not going to. I don't see any reason to support a, support factories that won't help me. Yeah. That sounds like a really mean move to do. And oh my goodness, we're almost there. Okay, their beliefs must be respected. Accept this. Okay. And do I have any military over there? No, but it's an... I think they are damaged enough to where I don't think they'll fight me that well. Well, let me get... Maybe I could get some of the mean new Dubai troops to go in and go help me. Let me go right here. Okay. And we can actually wait a couple minutes because it's not like we have to go in the war immediately. We just have to uh, wait for a second. Okay, you guys, I'll go on a ship and transport yourselves right here. I think this will be my invasion force for like right about here. Uh, my army over there should be able to handle it. Um, yeah, actually, you know, we should probably declare war right now so that we can just start smoking the buds. Okay, demand concession. Of uh, wait, what do we want? What do we want from this war? I don't even know what the region's called. Okay, it is called Etli, or whatever that is. So let me declare war. Declare war. Etli, Etli, Etli. Egypt, Etli. Calling all my allies to see who would join in. Maybe the USA has a truce with Egypt. Very unlikely. Um. Hmm. Let's not call in any of our allies in. Let's just do this all gun ho style by ourselves with no one else going to expect us to win. Okay. So first let's go quest these guys because I know this, this should be an easy battle. Yep. Okay. No, don't you dare. Stay right there. Okay. And exploding Nana. Pot kapoom. Yeah, this is the one thing I love about like Nitro Glistlin. It's just like once you have it, you have one of the best like supporting armies ever. And it seems like this is the only big army I've seen so far of them. It's not even that big, okay. By 7 out of capacity. Just land right there. Yes, I know you guys want to go kick out the rebels, but right now we need to just go conquer land. So that we can go kick out the rebels. Yes, yes. I know, it's quite amazing. Okay, now you guys just stay right there. And apparently there was a battle of Cairo, and I didn't even know about it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I feel so bad. I mean, 
This is this is so much just me just destroying them. And it's not even like I really care either. I'm just like, yeah, we might lose a couple thousand troops, but it doesn't really matter in the long run. Okay, you guys go right there. I'm going to have you guys also join the battle. But I'm going to have... Hmm. Kaza's belly. A Kaza's belly or... You know what? Let's get the Kaza's belly. Because you know what? By now, I don't care about Santo. I'm still mad at it for the fact I can't just conquer in all one big gigantic swoop. I mean, I seriously would want to just take it over in one big gigantic swoop, but I can't. I have to actually go in and go to individualized... Yeah, see, I have to go to individualized regions. That's just unfair. It should just happen to where you just have to conquer one region and go to the next. Okay, so we got massive... Uh, how... Let's move back here. Do we have... Oh, rebels are spawning. That's not going to be good. Mm-hmm. There we go. And it seems like some soldiers over there want to try to stop me. It won't really matter. I... This is one of those reasons why I got right next to the, uh... Nile. And I could actually get even more land out of this. And should I be greedy? Yes, I should. Uh, I think I should be greedy. So how do you be greedy in this game? Oh, uh, let me see. Does it still let you do what I think I'm gonna do? At War with Egypt, this will cost. Dang it, they don't allow you to do it anymore. Which was Ethiopia. No, I don't want free Ethiopia because I know that would be a bad idea. Um, I could demand another concession, get my infamy up, but to be honest with you, there really isn't much else you really want from this country. I mean, from Egypt. Like, there was also another reason why I want this region, of right here, is because it also has a good, like, precious metals. And for the rest of Egypt, it's basically just really, really bad line. So, yep. I'm telling you guys this all because I think you guys are trustworthy and you guys won't judge me for why I want to conquer this region. You know, this is this is kind of like the real imperialism of the day of where, you know, they would... Is that they would come up with one region of, or reason why they want to conquer this place, but it would really be because of another region. reason. And apparently some of my factories are collapsing. I'll reopen them all because this is kind of unfair. I did... We did just have a major rebellion and... Oh, the liberty of a lightened world. It has been almost a hundred years since France and General Lafayette came to the aid of the brave young American Republic at the hour of, hour of a birth and most desired need. Since then, the American Republic has served as inspiration to freedom, love, people everywhere, and has stood as a clear and forceful reminder to the world of the possibilities of human liberty. Some within France Re Republican circles have suggested we should celebrate this scent. Yes, we should! American! So, everyone, this is the official message. Liberty enlighten the world. Keep ancient lands your stored pomp. Cry to you with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your whole masses yearning to breathe free. The people of France have presented to the American people a spectacular gift. An enormous copper statue, 51 feet tall, dedicated a woman carrying a torch representing and named Liberty enlighten the world. The design has been carried out by, out by on Frederick Auguste Battlardi. Bathlardy, and a place that has been set aside for a statue on an island in New York Harbor. The statue will henceforth be known simply as the Statue of Liberty. What? We just did that event because it was awesome. Okay. And now that we have, like, no technology, let's go to steel railroads. We want to start upgrading our railroads. And, you know, actually, I think for our next couple of technologies, I want to kind of gain the upper advantage in terms of technology. And, oh my goodness, this is going to take a long time to get rid of all those rebels. Okay, lazy natives need to learn how to adapt. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but that's... You guys, I would respect your beliefs, but you... Oh, no. But you guys must learn... That... I uh, See, this is how it works. I respect the beliefs, but they must learn my language. That's how this works. And you guys actually... Go back... How did you guys get over there? You guys go back over here, because you're my Argentinian, like, troops. And over here we have, I think we have all of this big gigantic army over here. Group them all over, Lazy Navy's going to learn how to adapt. Okay, group them all over here. Okay, and let's actually, during more time, build the next army. So, one, two, three, four, it'll be dictated by this. Okay, we should build about six. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. Okay, how many soldiers can I build? Not many. Can I build just regular soldiers? Do they allow that? Um, not many. Okay, so let's actually just start with... Um... Yeah, just, just, yeah, just do that. Um, let's actually start with... Four, nine guard, Four? Four guards. Two horsemen and... Two horsemen. And then two cannons. We can actually move it up to four horsemen now that I think about it. Four horsemen. Okay, there we go. Let's be our next army. Huh. <sighs> And to war by Jingo, because our people have to be very jingoistic, because I am very, very, very warlike in my preferences. And increased opinion of the Italians, now we are now friendly with them, which means we have pretty good relations. And with UK, we have pretty good relations with the United States, we are still BFFs. Even, even to this day, me and the United States are still BFFs. BFFs. The only person, people that we have a little problems with is the UK, but... I think we'll be able to solve that in a couple futures. And protectionism, no, we are a completely free trade market. We have no need for that other stuff. And go take over this last little region over here. And how are we doing our war score? Okay, so we need... We need a little bit more than usual to get this goal. But I'm about to conquer the capital, which if you can't... For those of you guys don't know, if you guys conquer the capital, you basically gain a whole bunch of uh, war score. Because that means the capital just can't withstand your awesome mighty power. So let's see. It's about to fall. I should probably speed this up a little bit. This is this is not really a war. I have to be like, you know, very much minding it. So it's just uh, me destroy. Oh my goodness, they're actually gathering an army. That's kind of cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. That no, that really is kind of cute. They're actually trying to gather up an army. With that army, they might actually be able to challenge me, but... Okay. Um... And how are the crisis is going? Oh my goodness, Poland. What the heck happened to Poland? What did you do? What did you do, Austria? Seriously? What did you do? Did you take a big chunk out of my friend, Poland? Oh, come on. Poland, what? Austria, why did you do that? You know I'm gonna have to fight you now. Okay. So for next time, people... Well, it's not next time. We're gonna finish... I'm gonna finish up the conquest of this, and I'll end the episode. But for in the near distant future, I'm gonna go get revenge on the Polish. Basically do exactly what I did to Germany, but to go help the Polish. And the uh, faith one only. Um, 18. The almost done. And Italians, are you guys happy now? Man, you guys are having serious rebel problems. You guys really need to get that together. Uh, how about you guys? Oh, seems like there's another nation that needs to be spared. Sweden. No, Persia? Wow. Really? I'm actually winning Persia from the, uh, from the Russians? Okay, I'm fine with that. You know, having Persia in my sphere would not necessarily hinder me, because they actually do have a decent-sized military, and would be very distracting for the Russians, so that we could just go in and go kick their butts. <laughs> Dang, really? Really, Austria? You guys took another chunk out of my friends, the Polish? I, I'm serious. I'm, I'm really being serious here. I'm going to have to go to war for them. Because they they basically beat up on on a little tiny nation state that didn't really know how to fight. And while I do that a lot... Okay, are you guys saying you guys want... Yep. There we go. Okay, let's reestablish control over all my land. So that we don't have any more, any more rebellions. And is there any like huge troops that we have to deal with? No. Okay, no we do not. So let me get all these guys in here. Now actually, oh dang. The communists actually won elections. But the problem with that is that I don't really like the communists. So I'm just going to go to, oh wait, we have a new party? Oh dang, we have the, seems like the new conservative party is called the Royalists. Which, what is their stance on everything? I should actually have looked this up before I clicked on them. Um, protectionism, interventionism, moralism, limited, pro-military. Um, they actually don't fit our goals entirely. Just gonna say that now. Well, they do have inventionism, but 
Anything else better that I could have chosen? Not really. Yeah, not really. There wouldn't really, really be much else I'd have to let you choose. Um, yeah. But anyways, seems like, uh, soldiers, I'm hopefully gonna go start mopping up all the, uh, rebellion problems. Because, I mean, this has been... That region has not been under my control for years. And, like I said, it's gonna boom. Release it. And you guys... Seriously, how'd you guys get over there? Oh, you went through autumn. Ah. Okay, you guys stop with your stupid recording. You guys get on. We're gonna go advance assembly line. So that we can start getting armament. Armament bonus, because I'm getting tired of having all my factories collapse. And, you know, open it again. I'll open it one more time. But if it does not fit, does not do anything, then I'm just gonna close it. And for over here, um, upgrade our. A really really advanced places are oh, dang I can't invent I can't I can't upgrade anymore okay and whole oh, shoot okay well for this soldiers we're gonna actually have to split these guys up a little bit but it should actually turn out pretty even so 33 33 33 so I'm gonna move these guys to the front lines um, you guys are the new soldiers you guys start grouping up over here uh, do I have any more in here no, not really. So let's just wait. I won. Seems like yeah. Seems like we're now starting to clear up all that little rebellion problem we have down here, and just starting to kick the butt out of them, which is good. We finally got. I mean, we finally got around to this. This was like a. This was like a day 100 day, and the Devil's Island in 1904, a hard-written Bordeaux was discovered by a French spy in the German embassy containing secret. Secret French military doctrine. Suspicions fell upon a Jewish captain, Alfred Defense, and he was convicted by court-martialed and sentenced to life imprisonment in Devil's Island. The Fru protested his innocence, but to no avail. So let him not, let him rot on the Devil's Island, or no, he is innocent, which also is really unpopular and could potentially kill me. Let us let him rot. <laughs> oh, okay, and okay, there's some steamer factories that finally collapsed, and you know what? I'm just gonna say poo it. Um, okay, nothing should be built in Ghana. I, I, uh, what is with my capitalists not thinking? Seriously, I said this many times. You should build nothing in Ghana. Ghana is like the worst place to build almost anything. It will not last. It will seriously just collapse over and over and over again. How many people do we have? We seriously don't have all the people. Okay, there it is. There's the rest of this army's military. So let me go combine this. You guys move up. Okay, and did we clear up the majority? Let's see, did we clear up the majority of it? Um, let me just wait until we kill this. Ah, oh, another internal crisis. Wherever it is, Poland, I'm totally in your in your corner. It is a choir with Sony from Austrians. And I guess everyone, you're going to have to leave that episode for next time and see who joins the side and who will... What will happen in this great gigantic war? Because I, like I said, I'm not just going to free. I'm just not going to just free this part of Poland. I'm also going to free this entire part. We need to free the entire freedom. We need to free all of Garcia from the Austrians. And for that, I will see you guys next time.